Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the Queer Eye, the Fab Five Loft by Lego. This is set number 10291, has roughly about 974 bricks. So, remember in the last installment, we built the base, this living room, and the kitchen. And so far, I'm happy with this build. So, we'll slide this over here, and we're going to take a look at bag four, and this one actually fit inside of a small container. This one's got some plants and windows and stuff. And, well, let's see what we got here. So we walked through the manual and stuff like that, and talked about how cool the set was so far. Haven't had any issues with it. It's just pretty much well, it's just basically a studio setup or just an interior build. So, we're going to continue on with... I'm trying to figure out where we're at here. I know we're at bag four, but I'm trying to find it. And my allergies are being mean to me today. So, it looks like bag four we do... Well, I don't know, because this manual is just kind of thick. Um, so we're doing, it looks like, the left-hand side wall here. And we're doing, I guess that's Bobby, I don't know. Let's see. It's so surreal seeing myself in Lego minifigure for seven-year-old me would have been mind-blown to know this was a thing. Well... When I was growing up, minifigures were pretty, pretty barren, so. Okay, now we're going to get started. So we're going to do the minifigure first. So we gotta, we got to have our vegetables before we have our dessert. I may have to pause the video several times because I'm having a sneeze attack right now. So... Does he have a double-sided head? Yes, he does. So, now i got to find the Jay the Surfer wig. I'm sorry, but I rock that wig a lot better. And then he's looking for his cell phone, and that's printed right there. So, looks almost like a TV remote. Let's see, does it matter which way it goes? Probably so, but do we really care? Not really, because I just want to build and play with it. Okay, so now we got that done. And, well, I gotta move some stuff around. We got a lot of stuff to work on. This side would be easy to work on, but now they wanna work on this side here first. Right here. Matter of fact, I could probably just rotate the camera right there, and there we go. Because we're going to be focusing just on this area here. And yeah. So, yeah, like I said, warning, I may have to pause the video several times so I'm not sneezing and coughing in everybody's ears. Well, nothing worse when you get on Discord and you find out you've been trolled. And <laughs> this is a new little this is another little interesting story here. So apparently about four, four thirty in the morning and somebody had invited a bunch of hooligans. Like one person found the server, they just invited a bunch of other friends and they just had fun on there. And I had to restrict some stuff. And for some reason, somebody's hand kept slipping, and they just started going on a banning spree. My goodness, I don't know who it was, but thank you very much. And it's kind of sad, though. A lot of people will do that. They'll troll, not a lot of people, but some people will go in and troll. I think we've all done it before, but they were saying some pretty racial stuff in there. So I had to, had to teach them a lesson there, teach them some manners. So... Um, yeah, pretty much that was that was the excitement for today. 
and yeah hoping my allergies will clear up they were fine about five six minutes ago right before i started now i got the runny nose i'm all stuffed up maybe it's the trolls they got me sick but anyways though anyways anyways it's not a bad set yes i put together that bed and all that stuff and made me a dinner tonight and i'm done I'm, now i'm relaxed and this is a this is a bedside build it's like one i don't know what time is it it is 1 40 in the morning so yeah we're gonna get this done and i'm just gonna get it done do a do a real quick review and that's it and okay it looks like these go right here now, my apologies if my arm gets in the way and stuff. And Oh, before I start bumping into things, remember, I have study shot turned off. So if I bump the camera, you may, if, if it, it depends on the person, you may experience seasick motion. You may want to consult a physician first. Okay. So yeah, I've been thinking about making me a new review table, one with built-in lights and stuff, but I want to make it portable. Reason being is, uh, I may not be here much longer, I don't know, and I want to be able to, you know, do this stuff in a different location, like impromptu style. So I'm trying to think on how I want to do it. Um, and what I mean not be here, I'm, I'm not going to be here for a while. So um, I'll still be doing videos. I'll still be doing the same old way I do things. It just be, things will be a little different. And yeah, where am I going? Honestly, it's nowhere fun. No, it's not prison. If anybody's wishing that. <laughs> not sure what goes back in there, but... Obviously, this build here does not have any exterior values, so there's not going to be any kind of, you know, like fancy trims and stuff like that, or stuff you'd see like in a modular building. And... We gotta put a corner brick in there. Huh? Well, we're not done with that yet. Yeah. So let's see. We get around here. There. Looks good. Let's see what step 78 has to offer. So yeah, guys and gals, this is not too bad of a set. Well. We have two here and two here. What's so special about these? Oh, two are light green and two are dark green. Okay, I can't tell on here, so it's hard to really see them. Matter of fact, I wish Lego would make me into a minifigure, but I'm not that cool. <laughs> Had to make myself, and still haven't found all the perfect parts yet for it. Now you can, uh, I believe you can order a custom figure, but it's pretty pricey. There's some other uh, vendors out there that will actually silkscreen one for you, too, for a, a good hefty price. can't mention their names on here because I'm not I'm not partnered up with them I can't do that I'm sorry that's just how it is I can't give somebody free advertisement and they haven't paid for it or partnered up with me or anything like that so you'll have to google that on your own but I've been looking and getting a silkscreen machine to do my own figures and printings. But the problem with a silkscreen machine is they're expensive. 
then I'd have to learn how to use it and all that stuff. So it would just be a, a learning curve right there. All right, so, all right, so we're gonna be tucking these windows behind here. Here's the windows, here's the glass. You all know how to pop those in there. So obviously the windows go like this. Well, I can't wait to see what this looks like on the outside when we're done. I bet it's going to look really fabulous. <laughs> All right. When you get one of my builds, they're full. I mean, I do the detail on the interior and then the exterior. But if this is just a movie studio setup or something like that, and you're not really going to have that full effect. Sorry, sorry, Fab Five, you know what? Yeah. I could have built your whole studio a lot better with exterior and all the other bells and whistles that go on with it. And I can tell you right now, I don't even think this even has a bathroom in it or even a bedroom for that matter. It might, I don't know. Or you just have to supply that on your own. They'll have to, they'll have to, since they're fashion designers, maybe they can fashion something up so I don't have to. And I'm looking for a one by two plate. Yeah, it's funny about me with allergies, man. When they hit, they just hit pretty hard. Yeah, all right. We got to put more profile bricks in here now. So you're not going to get shortchanged on profile bricks. It's like three different colors of profile bricks in this whole set. And uh, so far, my building experiences in this set's been pretty good. It's something I normally would never buy, but it's it's pretty good. It's pretty fabulous, right? Got lots of good parts in it too. I'm sorry, sorry, Fab Five. I'm gonna part this out when I'm done. I need those bricks. We'll have to take the wrecking ball to your loft, and it's gonna be nothing left but a pile of rubble. Matter of fact, most of this will be in a bin, or it's gonna be in another build. Maybe one of my old Victorian homes or something. Uh, we don't know. Yeah, you'll have to. It's just like reality TV, except we do it with Lego. Well, no, we build reality in Lego. That's what I do anyways. You know. yeah, we'll have to do that. And I need one of these little plunger things. And it goes down here. It actually anchors down in here. Like that. Okay, then what was the point of that for? I don't know what we're doing there. And. All right. You get a bunch of one by twos like this, things kind of get kind of weird and stuff. So, what I'm. My apologies right now. I'm just checking my work. Because it's. We just got done with that castle with all those gray bricks. And so what am I doing? More gray bricks. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. I have one more build that's supposed to be colorful. Um, it's that friend's big fireplace thing that Lego sent me as a gift. So we're going to put that together and review it. I could save that for winter time. I don't know. But I'm just going to put it together anyways. Or I could just hang on to it, and we could build it here, and you'll just have to watch the final review later on. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I have a holiday poly bag I'd like to get to that I got over the holidays, but you won't see the review on that well until next year, or until the end of the year, actually. It just depends. And this goes here. Now, there's going to be a tile that's going to attach to the studs. 
and it's going to ask me for a sticker. We'll take a look at the sticker. I mean, I've got to get, I mean, oh, I see the stickers over there. So, first things first, let me get all the profile bricks in here. And yes, you'll be placing a bunch of one by two bricks. I bet probably half this set is just profile bricks alone. So, you'll be profiling it up the whole time. The whole time you will be doing this. Yeah, I wish Lego would bring out a corner brick for that too. It would be really nice. But will they do it? No, they won't do it. That's okay though. Now, there's a sticker on here. Sticker number uh, 11. They want the fab word on a two by three black flat tile now i use those if i can even find it for making computer monitors like widescreen monitors uh -uh. sorry fab five no sticker on that one today that's not going to happen why because just like you guys are designers i'm a designer too except i try to do it raw with prime parts, <laughs> I mean prime. No stickers, nothing custom, just the stuff that Lego provides me. And I bought this step for parts. Now, I mean, if you're into this show and you like to use this for a display piece, you know, obviously you could. And this is obviously a, oh, we got another one of those little teacups here. It must be a bookshelf then. That's what that is. Yeah, but I got an idea for a house build I'd like to get on to quickly. If I do release it, it'll be over the summer. Uh, I Since I have been rearranging things in the Lego room where I've been kind of moving some of the stuff that I normally don't use. I'll set that there around like i have a back room in the shop that i'm using now to store all that since i've been i don't want to rip my manual since i have been doing this i actually have started to gain more space in here and i actually have more of the making sure you can see i gotta do it right over here I've been gaining a lot more space where now I can just easily pull out parts to build a house or a car. And all the other stuff will just, you know, get stored somewhere else. Oh, we're storing glasses like that? The dust will fly in there, huh? I, mean, I don't think that brick is supposed to go in there like that. Oh, it is. There's a regular brick back there. I thought there was something special, but no. Somebody said it on one of my videos. They were trying to download the app, and then they were thanking me because I was covering something that the that the build didn't or the app didn't explain or something like that. I'm like, yeah, Lego is not really that good about the technology. You should have two forms of it, though. PDF and the 3D. Some people's devices can't handle that 3D stuff. And somebody will say, well, why don't they just buy a brand new device? <laughs> yeah, not today. I was looking at a new tablet and they're just pricey. And I'm like, well, I'll just use my old one that I have. I have a new one, but I have a bunch of secondhand ones that I've restored. So if I, if, for some reason, one of my tablets break or whatever, or my main one, I could just pull one out of my stash and then use that instead. And then that's it. So this must be some kind of a china hutch or a display cabinet or something. All right. And then they want me to put a door on that there. There's a door right there. And it's like one of those fancy doors that was... Uh, reddish brown and dark brown. Oh, I hate to think those will break one day. 
like this is reddish brown and that's dark brown oh if those break i wouldn't i would be so angry with lego selling faulty products now i'm looking for a stud for this This door goes in here. So that's what it looks like. So they kind of lined up the shelves with the door. And it's like a phone booth in here. Growing up, Lego was my very favorite toy. I build cities, pirate ships, destroy them, then start all over again. It's pretty incredible to think that young kids will now have LGBTQ plus options to play and build with. I'm honored to be a part of this special partnership. Ten-year-old and Tony is internally screaming. I'd be screaming too if Lego looks, if Lego built one of my creations and sold it. I'd be screaming too. But now, sadly, they won't do that with my stuff. Why? Because if I were to build this whole loft in my style of build. These guys would have a full pledge building. It would not be just this. Uh, all right, there's the door. This cupboard goes here, just sits here. I thought this was like a front door. No, it's not, it's just a cupboard. So the front door's gotta be on this wall somewhere here, yeah. But no, a lot of people have asked me, though, when doesn't Lego ever hire you to build stuff? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but it would be a job, though. I don't want to do that. And I've seen some of the Lego idea sets where it gets submitted as an idea. It looks really cool. And then Lego will literally just strip it down. Just imagine one of my campers. It has like a thousand pieces in it. And Lego gets a hold of it and they strip it down to like 300 pieces and you try building it and it just falls apart. <laughs> Where my stuff is built like tanks. <laughs> All right, so this piece here is printed. It's style taste class. Something you'd probably see like in a bar or something. And yeah. Or maybe a... Um, a hair salon or something but this just sits right here that's printed i like those printed pieces like that too i mean i may never really use that for anything but i just like that and it is kind of cool though that lego's doing the hell lgbtq stuff but you know i'm gonna have to be careful with that to me i don't really care <laughs> wait a minute hold on I gotta put another row of plates on there. No, it's just plates. Okay, thought I messed up here. But at the end of the day, though, it doesn't matter if you like Lego. We're all belonging to the same community. Matter of fact, I just belong into the human. I, I belong to the human community. You know. And yes, our community. Our Let's Build It community is LGBTQ friendly. The more the merrier, you know? Like I said, we're all here to build with Lego. We're all here to enjoy the hobby. And I need a one by eight plate. And no. Sorry, guys and gals. I'm straight. So, yeah. All right. Here's one from Tan. We, the Fab Five, are big kids at heart, and what we do on Queer Eye sometimes feels much more like play than work. It seems such natural fit for us to collaborate on this Lego set. Such well-loved toy for kids of all ages. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. You know, when I was a kid, Lego was, Lego was considered a kid's toy, and that's how it was. And some people may disagree with me on that one but okay we got a sub step here like i said i mentioned it in a previous build though i had an aunt that just she would not let her boys play with lego because 
it was considered for kids. And we were the same age. One time uh, they wanted to, me to leave my Lego at their house. And this is like probably when I was 10 or 12 years old. Okay, sure. When it came back, they had a whole entire city built with my collection. It was really tiny. It was like one tote. It was really cool to see that too. And... Yeah. I think everybody should try to get into Lego. It doesn't matter your age or whatever. Just get in and start building things. All at the end of the day, it's just having fun. It's meant to be relaxing. For me, I do this just for fun. And I don't... You know... One of the things that would be kind of cool, though... You know, if I'm... In, and I found out if you're in the ambassador thing... And you get hired on to Lego as a designer or something... Um, what I heard is you can't have both they'll boot you out of there that's kind of what I gathered I don't know why they do that I think this is some kind of valance or something this is like a curtain rod or it could be blinds too like wood like the like the like the horizontal blinds Something like what my grandparents had in their house. Okay. Yeah, but I keep the community open for everybody to join in and have fun. You know, I don't. Everybody's welcome to join. Well, no, not everybody, except for the trolls. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. You're not welcomed. All right. I think I'm putting those the wrong way. I want the lines on the inside of the loft. Now, the style of this build in here for the interior, except for the studs at the bottom, it could represent gray carpet too. But this is kind of the style that I would normally build. Uh, you know, they should just put hardwood floor in here, it would look better, huh? All right, let's see here, and uh, yeah, uh, I had a buddy that was into interior design, and then he got into fashion designing and stuff like that. Uh, this is many years ago. <laughs> and I thought, dude, you have more patience than I do. But then again, it was the same thing with him with I. He did not have the patience for a computer program. And he's like, oh, how do you stand just sitting here working on the computer all the time? How do you not get lost in all that lines of code? And I said, it just happens. There must be a pipe or something sticking out of the wall there. I don't know. It could be. Well, I don't know. I haven't finished it yet. Oh, I hate to think that's some kind of a stripper pole, but it's not It's not gold. <laughs> and yes, these uh, videos are more intended for adults, but I will not be using any really bad foul language in here. So uh, I've had some that say I should cuss in these, but yeah, I don't feel like cussing right now. I'm too tired to care. All right, we're going up a little higher here. Turn it that way so you can see it better. Yeah, I need to get a light that comes this way. I actually have... <laughs> you've seen those recessed lights that people put in the canister? I have, in my shop, I was going through stuff, and I have a box of them. Probably about 60 watts. I don't need a floodlight in here. And I thought, you know what? Those may just work for this. So I need to get something and find a way to attach it to my tripod or just have it kind of sitting off here and bounce off this white wall. And boy, that would really work. I need to get one set up. That and the microphone thing, and we'd be ready to go. This would be professional quality. <laughs> I'll have to get on that. I have to get on that and set it all up. Yeah. We'll take a look at the exterior here in a second, and I'm seeing parts on my side. I'm like, I'm cringing right now because it's just kind of, you know, 
Nothing special. Somebody did one with the with the Friends TV show one, and it just kind of looked kind of odd. They had to build the whole exterior portion of it, what they thought it would be. And, well, we have a rocket piece. Well, I thought I did. Where does that even go? Okay. Oh, okay. So what they did here, and that's pretty cool. They come in here and do this. Right, they stick that right. Now I'm kind of working at an angle here, so I'm hoping I get this right. And they just stick this here upside down like that. Okay, I don't know if that's supposed to sit like that. Well, let's line it up with the, with the tubes. And that's what they did. And then we have three of these things here. Now you're going to have to pluck those off. Now, fortunately, I have never broke any of these, but I try to avoid using these. These are the same thing as the old classic flowers, except uh, they got the big pieces, the big leaves on them. And if you're not careful, you could snap those off. Like I said, I've been lucky I haven't done it, but I hope it never happens. Lego's an expensive toy. I'm not like these guys in this show. I'm not rich. <laughs> so I have to be very careful. I don't want to abuse my abuse my toy. And this is this like I said in the last installment, I bought this set. So before I get all crazy with it, I'm just going to push that right down in the middle there, and then I'll get the last one on there. You just have to come in and just separate them like this. Don't twist or anything like that, because you may break it and stuff. And then well, that would never be fun. And then let's see if we can get that right on there. That's a nice little pot idea. And there you go. It adds a little greenery into the build. I have one extra plate. And where does that go? Did Jay actually forget something? Let me go back. I think it belongs to this blind thing here but i don't know let's go back to that i've been missing a lot of pieces lately with things going on in my life my dad's health is not the best and then okay i see where that goes um that kind of thing it's just been kind of distracting and yeah i found out where it goes is right there it's missing a spot so i'm just going to aggressively pry that up and well you know what let's just use the brick separator to kind of wiggle and jiggle that apart so, yes even I make mistakes too and no I will not filter that out we'll set that right back down here now we can take a look at the exterior because now we're done with bag four and as you can see um, you know the hole there and what that's about and I don't know if I can pick this up. Yeah, well, there's that. Yeah, it's uh, you, and this just pops out. So, you know, maybe that's where the show is going to start right there. They, this pops out and they do something. I don't know. And you got these leftover pieces. What a waste of plastic that is. And <laughs> this is what we have remaining for bag four. Well, we got the Blue Bunny ice cream container out with bag five. <laughs> so I've graduated from butter containers. Now we're moving to something bigger. So yes, I do use these. And I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just using their container as a little holding ground. And bag five is the next wall right here. We're going to be finishing up the loft here. So that's what we'll be doing. Now, I can just rotate the camera back over here again, and then we'll do it like that, without this thing falling off the table. Alright, let's see what we got in here. And, yeah, a lot of, goodie a lot of goodies in there. 
yes, those are my professional sorting trays. And we got two mini figures, and then the left wall, and probably a bunch of accessories. Okay, so we have one from Jonathan. So happy this set comes with Kathy Dooley. She is one of my childhood heroes. Means the, so much love to me. Plus, I get to play cutting her cutting off her mullet as many times as I want now. Cutting off the mullet. Uh, you know, guys and gals, why doesn't the mullet just stay in the 80s, 70s and 80s? I'm starting to I'm starting to see that out here and I'm like, oh god. Uh, there's I believe that this is the Well, let's get the figures together so we can know what Jonathan's trying to tell us here. So let's start popping out all the minifigure parts here, and then we'll put it, put them together. All right. Well, I got a blue piece here. There's nothing. They're not wearing blue, so we're hang on to that. Um. Yeah, I hate when you got tons of big pieces and you're fiddling around like I found two pairs of blue types of blue pants and I haven't found anything for these I think they're ladies I can't tell right now well, I found the man bun am I even doing the right bag or something okay I found the black pants and I think she's got glasses here well, they both got glasses, but they're on different heads. Oh, wait a minute, they have the same, so I think it's the same person. I think that's what he meant by cutting it off. And then the hair that goes on there, it's obviously not that. All right, well, we're gonna have to dig. This will be about seven hours, guys and gals, just be patient. I gotta. I got to literally just rifle through large pieces for figures just to get to the fun stuff. So I'm slowly just pulling out the parts for this one. Oh, here's another. That's a man bun there. Okay, here's the pants for the other one. Well, I got the heads. I'm just missing the mullet piece. I know what it looks like. We did the brick exploration on it here. And and I'm sorry, but what do they call it? The wings on the hair. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the mullet. Okay, yeah, that, that is. Yeah, just cut that blink right off. I don't. I, I, I agree with you, Jonathan. Just cut it off. You got those shears in there. Just use those shears. You got two pairs unless they get dull. You need to cut that off. So that's what you do. I'm presuming this is the same gal. Okay. Now we get on to the fun stuff. Now. So now we got to start working in this corner here. Trying to get it situated where you can see the whole thing. And yeah, we'll start right here. And my furnace just fired up. <laughs> Must be that cold today. Yeah, it's here it is. It gets in the 70s, 80s. Then the nights it's like in the low 30s, like freezing. So that just tells you something. Maybe there's a toilet or a sink that goes there. Why the gear for? What is the gear used for in there? We don't even know yet. We're going to have to find out. Oh, wait a minute. I'm putting these in the wrong place here. Boy, that... Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. There's supposed to be four here, and then this here, 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 here. I gotta find a hollow white stud. That's what 
that is. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little tired. I got three offers coming in the mail, and I have to get on them ASAP. So, well, they're in the mail right now, but I want to get this done here, and then we'll do the fireplace one. I want to kind of get back into the tutorial filming real quick before I really start getting into um, the review stuff. And I think that is supposed to be some kind of a pipe over here more and more because it's got the same thing over here. Okay. So now I got to find plate thing. A uh, two by four plate. And then got tons of little round things rolling off here. And a one by four plate. Okay. So looks like this is the hair care products. I don't know. And yeah, it's just. I'm rifling through big pieces for the little stuff first. All right. And I need, well, let's start with, all right, I'm kind of getting frustrated here because my counter is not that big for this type of stuff here. Um, it's like I said, I'm, I'm improving this setup eventually, really slowly. Pretty soon I'll be in a different location where I can um, start filming. I don't know when that's going to happen, though, but I it, hope it'll be soon. Um, okay, that's a transparent clear stud. So, yeah. Um, just piecing together all the accessories while you're doing the main build... It's not really my style on how to do things because it just takes 10 times longer to do this. So this must be all the hair care products for the clients that come in to get their mullets chopped off. When I was little, like probably 8, 9, 10 years old, I had one of those mullet things. Not like down the back, but... And it's kind of funny now, you see that hairstyle coming back again full force with the younger kids. I mean, they love that mullet stuff. Got the one by one brick there, and I'm like, you know, we'll keep it in the, we'll keep that in the 80s, thank you. <laughs> we don't need to, we don't need to be doing that. But I guess to each his own. One of the things that I always, you know, I have an advantage over the Fab Five Loft. I didn't have to partner with Lego. One of my, I built two of my dream projects. The 1960s home and the McDonald's. McDonald's is the first place I worked at. The 1960s home it was the childhood home I grew up in. And that's pretty much, you know, what it is. And trust me, Lego would not be able to build a model that big. It would just be... It's like building my campers, you know. And I still get questions asked today, though. Jay, is there any way that I can get these parts from you? Like, I don't want to have to hunt for them, and I'm like, I'm very sorry, but I have no way to do it cheaply. You know, that's... It's sad. I know a lot of people don't want to go and hunt for eight, nine. You know, it's like building the Michael Myers house. My goodness. And if you're on Patreon, you get the flavor of downloading the building guide with the downloadable parts list for, for BrickLink. So you can download those and feed the parts list into BrickLink, and it should pretty much work. I, I spot check a few builds, so I may have made a few mistakes here and there, but... 
They should work for the most part. And I try to use the most recent version of parts so you don't have to go and hunt for a special rare piece and a color or something like that. You just, you know, that kind of thing. I try to keep the cost down for you guys and gals. All right, so. Well, we're slowly consuming parts here. It's starting, the pile's starting to go down a little bit. Not by much, but it's going down a little. And there we go. Let's see here. All right. All righty, let's see here. I need a one by two brick. Looks like it's just a regular one. Hey, my allergies have cleared up miraculously cool. And I try not to take allergy pills. They just make me so drowsy and I feel really weird and get cotton mouth. So I try not to take those as much as I can. One time I took them and I was in college boy I was so tired I had to have a ride take me home I left my truck up there overnight thankfully nobody broke in and destroyed it or anything but yeah that's when I said oh no and somebody says oh I have some allergy pills I'm like are they drowsy? Oh, no, they're not. I'm thinking, oh, I've had heard that before. Oh, these are non-drowsy, and I'll take one. And I'm literally just kind of like fighting sleep and all that other stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, so right now this set's starting to drag out at the very end. I think the reason being is I need to get a container. There's just weight. It was just like the castle. It's just so much um, of the same color right now. I'm just kind of getting blinded by it. So I need to pull out some of these white pieces here. I'm looking for another one that goes here and a profile brick. So I'm going to start pulling all these out. And that happens from time to time. If, if you're just tuning in here. Okay. All right, now I'm looking for another one, a uh, one by two wall element. Yeah, so. As far as for tutorials are concerned, you know, it's just getting the time to film them and stuff. And I'd like to get all these sets just out of my inventory real quick. Because this one here I actually need the parts for. Or I need the parts from this one here. So that's why I'm trying to get rid of them. This is a pleasure build, but still. I think I got everything there in that step. We're just working in this little area here, so it's like we're going too far. Okay, and... All right, so now I need to find a broom. There's the broom. And let's look for one of those little clip pieces. And there's tons of accessories you got to put together here. So the broom goes back here. So there's actually a room back here, but there's not even a floor. So what are we doing there? I don't know. And I need to find a Technic brick. And 
place that in like that. And one more there. If I can find it real quick. Maybe. I got a bunch of wigs and stuff here. Maybe for mannequins. I don't know. <laughs> what is this to hang on to? Is this meant to hang the hats on there? Like a hat rack? That's what it looks like. It just sits there. If those were transparent yellow or white. They'd make good lights for above a mirror or something. But no. And that's it. For step... Um, 111. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. okay. So now we got to work back here now. And we built some of these inverted slope things before. We're, we're making these again. So what I'm gathering is these are probably some kind of a shelving unit or something in the back. Yeah, this is this set here is probably meant to be played with. What is the age range on this anyways? I gotta look. I don't even know what it is. I'm sure this is an adult show. Matter of fact. If I'm thinking what I'm thinking correctly, this show's probably got a lot of beeps and blips where it's all filtered and censored. What's the age range on this? 18 plus. Wow, really? For a playable model? Probably because of the theme of it, I guess. All right, we did that there. Okay. And if I forget something, we can always come back and revisit later. Okay. You know what? This book is getting to be kind of a turd. I haven't seen any written things in here yet. Maybe these guys have done or these guys are done talking to us or something. I don't know. Like Jay, you insulted our set now, our loft, so now we're not going to speak to you in the manual anymore. Right, I think it's a lipstick piece. Now I can't find them. Um, so, what does that really mean? It means I got to sort through more white pieces. This whole area is just white. I've been trying to break away from using white in my builds, so I like more color. Oh, I did do the review on the flower sets. And somebody says not everything has to be brightly colored, and that's true. But for me, if I want to look at something more natural, I wouldn't be in here doing this. <laughs> I like the bright, colorful builds. And that's just how it is. Okay, then I need a gray brick here with the clip and the lipstick. What would these guys be doing with white lipstick? I don't know. Could be used for a lamp or something like that. We don't know yet. I haven't looked in the book. I don't even know because I want to be surprised. I kind of want to let the imagination kind of run a little bit here. And it, get, it gets me away from everyday distress. I'm kind of curious. I wonder if there's any celebrities ever watching my content on YouTube. What I've heard, though, there has been... Some of the famous people watch this stuff. I don't know, but probably watching us poor souls doing this stuff here. Well, 
I'm looking for a one by four brick, but I don't even see one in here. I see a one by three that goes there. Maybe it's underneath all this junk. We don't know. Yeah, but some people interpret that I'm rich because I do all this Lego stuff. Yeah, it's just because I work for a living. I'm not a wealthy by any means. Well, maybe if you want to count health-wise. Well, maybe I shouldn't say that. All right. I believe that there's a mirror that goes around here. That could be it. All right, let me um, look in there. Now the container is too crowded to find anything, so you know what that means? I'm probably going to have to dump it out or just stick it out. Okay. And then we got a couple of profile bricks here. Yeah, I want to start focusing more on the builds and, and try to do my stories. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm quiet, I'm actually unwinding for the night. You don't hear any loud noises. You don't hear motorcycles drag racing down the street. You hear nothing. Actually, I'm probably like a dream neighbor for a lot of the people out here. They thought I'd be one of those guys that would be partying down every day. and uh, uh, I'm past all that now. do that nonsense stuff because I just don't see the need to do it. All righty. And another profile brick goes here. I wonder what the lipstick is for. So I guess one of the guys or that one gal comes over, she can just stick her face up against the wall and put the lipstick on it's supposed to be it's supposed to be hands-free i guess okay what is this back here okay I'll, I'll we're gonna build it but i mean it's just they got a purse and stuff in the back here on a shelf so well how do you get back there if there's not even a floor matter of fact i gotta find a three by three plate well, there it is. They have this nice, pretty purse, and it just sits back here on a shelf. <laughs> Don't tell me these guys uh, steal purses and stuff. When their clients come over, they have, like, a secret wall that rotates. Did I bring my purse in? No, he didn't bring it in. I'm sorry. I didn't see it in here. Maybe, like, a rotating wall or something. I don't know. That's the biddy about not watching these type of shows. You can just let your imagination just go crazy. And now we're doing more of this little accessory stuff here. Okay. And I need an olive green stud. Or baby poop green. That's how you look at it. And the tile. Maybe it's a jar of pomade. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what's his name? Tan needs to use the pomade for his big giant quiff pompadour thing. So yeah, you would need that in there. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I did this backwards. All right, there's supposed to be two of these plates, then this, so I actually have to use the brick separator now. Wow, I went all the way up to bag five, and now i got to use the separator. Well, I think I used it that one time before, so this must be the second time, and I can't even get that off there. Oh, wow. Well, let's see if I can stick it down here and just, like, it will not even budge. See, it just will not come off. Let me put it on something bigger. Something that's not reddish brown. There we go. Let's try that out. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it. 
Mm, that's like freaking glued on there. All right, there we go. I got it popped loose. Oh, that was not fun at all. So these are supposed to be like this. All right. And then that's it. And it goes right in this area here. So I don't know what what that's for. We'll take it. Like I said, we'll take a brief re review through it when we're done. And we'll see here. We got a lot of door frames, so we got a door around here somewhere. So I don't know what that goes to yet. In fact, this is kind of lopsided here, but that's. What they called for? Did I even skip something here? I think I may have. Okay, there was actually a set of plates that go. No. Oh, it's a one by one plate there. I thought we were doing something kind of special in that corner, but no, not really. Sometimes I'll get the question, do I ever play with this stuff? No. I just like to build, and that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> I don't really play with Lego. I just build with it. Okay, there's a door here. Well, obviously it's not a bathroom door since it's clear. Is that a metallic stud? That's exactly what that is. We got the whole stainless steel doorknob thing going, huh? Well, these guys are more modern than I am. I, st I, use, I still use that antique gold or antique brass look in my house. So that's what that is there with the gear inside. So what are we doing in that little room anyways back there? I may have to change the angle because I won't be able to see what's going on in there. And we're going to have to finish up the brickwork. So let's just get started on that. So, so far, though, I'm, the build is keeping my interest. So that's, a good, that's good news there. It's not dry or boring. Um, there's a lot of one by 2 bricks, but not like we're putting together a micro build. And there's a lot of good inspiration for furnishings and stuff so there's a lot of goodies in this set that one could use for his or her own builds what build well obviously you got parts to make you you actually got parts in this house or loft to make a whole kitchen and a living room so there's two items there and some kind of salon area that's pretty much what we're doing okay so we anchored the wall here because we have this one that runs on that side there and lovely more po profile bricks all right place those right in there and this is really loose so we're gonna have to just you know deal with it until we get it all locked together here Okay. And there's a tile in here that requires a sticker on something like this. Now, I would put the sticker on that, but two by three gray tiles, or just two by three tiles in general, will just always come in handy for other builds. I'm not going to do that. So. And honestly, though, just using the gray piece alone is fine. I'll show you this sticker that goes on that here. Um, well, provided if I can find it, that's what you got to put on there. Okay. I'm not going to put it on there. Like I said, I'm going to reuse this the parts out of the set anyways. Why am I building it? Just for fun, just for commentary stuff. 
Some of these videos are a hit or miss when I put them up on here. Some people watch the whole thing. Some people just click the first 20 seconds and go, oh, I don't want to hear this guy talk, and they'll go to another video. And this thing here goes like this. So what we're doing here, hold on. Oh, we need some two by fours. I thought the two by threes would go in a brittle brown. No, no. Yikes. That may break apart. And the thing goes right here. So that's what it is. And this is pretty loose. You gotta be very careful. Just hold on to the back. Kind of an interesting way to put a mirror in there. Okay. All right, so we're doing some kind of door thing here and we need to rotate this big beast around. So let me find a place that I can grab. And we're gonna be focusing back here where the gear is at so now we're getting into this area here so my apologies if it's kind of kind of wonkified but that's how it is and here's one of the gears i can't even pick it up there we go so this is like what these type of gears is what you'd see like in a in like one of those kitty sets And one of these panels. Okay. Okay, set that on there. And it goes in here okay so it does this goofy thing what on earth are they doing is this like some kind of closet that rotates around so the minifigure stands in here gets rotated around and he falls off the edge <laughs> that's what I'm interpreting what that is and then we have the brown door that just gets put on here. Hey, I, I'm happy that didn't break. I have a bunch of those too. I can always use interior doors. And this just sits in here. First, I'm gonna have to step over all that. But why, why a door that takes you out to nowhere is beyond me. I mean, Sometimes these builds are just kind of, they're kind of funky in a way. And when I build stuff, I build things, when I build my, my own houses and stuff, either A, they're from my imagination, or B, they come from a floor plan, an existing house. And that's pretty much where the ideas come from. Now, when I do the review on this, the final review, I'm just going to have some fun with it and have commentary like what we're doing here. So I think it'll be fun just to kind of play around with this. And I'm just going to mention that in the review. This is just for fun. This is going to be something we're just going to tinker with. And we got something here from Tan. Let's see here. I love being a part of the Fab Five. And though queer I get... I get to shed light on the beauty of the diversity of our community. That was my main hope when I auditioned for the show. And I'm so grateful to be in this position. I said the same thing about software engineering. Actually, now I wanted to be a teacher. What happened? I became a software engineer instead. <laughs> All right, now. Yeah. And this goes here. Is software engineering hard? 
not really. If you do it so many times, it's it's like breathing, you know. You, you know what you're doing. It's like writing a database. Just write up the template, and there you go. Sandbox it, do test on it, try to hack it, try to see if there's any exploits. If there's no exploits and stuff, then you'd send it off to the client. And that's pretty much what it is. And... So this back here must be some kind of storage room. I mean, it just kind of... I'm just going to bluntly say it. it just, I don't know, it just kind of just seems kind of out of place. You'd think there would have been more of a floor in here instead of just showing this. It just seems a little unfinished. With pants and a purse back there. Is that the props? Is that behind the scenes? Like I said, this could be a studio set, too. Than anything else. This is something... Oh, <laughs> this is something completely different here. And that just kind of looks crooked up there. And we're still working on this backside. I think that that's what this is. This is some kind of backstage thing. Now, I can just cheat and go online and Google. But you know what, though? I want to be able to have fun with this. I'm, I'm not your typical Lego guy, you know. I'm going to have fun with the build, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'd rather have my imagination just try to figure out what's going on here. So my suspicions are correct. This is probably just like the props for the studio and stuff. And listen, one nose cone. I gotta find that now. Maybe one of the Fab Five stole it with the purse in the prop room. There we go. I think that's for the wigs. And indeed it is for the wigs. I didn't read that far. Well, now let's just set these on here. So there you go. I mean, who's going to have a secret room somewhere to... I can't even pick up this goofy little red hat. There we go. That's better. That's good enough for me. So... And then the man bun. Where did that go? There it is. Uh, yeah, I do remember I did try a man bun one time. It just did not fit my face. So I never did that again. There we go. Some things work and some things don't work. All right, let's rotate it back around here really carefully. We don't want to drop the, drop the Fab Five loft. I can tell you right now, if this thing fell, these profile bricks are going to come apart real quick. Okay, so you rotate it back around, and we're continuing on with more of the brick here. Matter of fact, my studio that I was in there was like this. If anybody's ever seen a studio apartment before, it's basically like a bedroom with a kitchen. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. And it was easy to clean up and stuff like that. Not really good when you have one to have company over. It's, but it's good for um it's good in college. The problem though is with studios is that um, well the place I was at, landlord just kept raising the rent up. Got to the point where it was almost the same price as the house. So I just told her, I said, no, nope, not for me anymore. 
and that was it, you know. Okay, we got a bunch of profile bricks here in different colors. Well, brown and whatever. Well, I got tons of brown. That's all I'm pulling out of there, huh? I'm going to do the one over here. So there's a door that goes in here. Maybe that's for the bedroom that doesn't exist. I don't even... I've never seen the show before, but I'm kind of figuring that's... You know... But anybody's ever been on a studio set, I've never been on one. That's pretty much how they do things. Well, there's the lipstick there. Oh, wait a minute. You know that lipstick piece? I didn't see that correctly. Guess what? I got to rip that whole thing apart and rotate that around. Like that. I don't know what that is for. It's just kind of goofy there. We're not done building it yet, but what what is its intent? I mean, what is its purpose for? Alrighty, and then a profile brick here and a gray one by one brick next to that column. And I gotta do one more column over here. And it's not the same as the other one, they're built different, so you're gonna have to start here. And I kid you not, they're offset just by a little bit. This is not really my favorite color scheme here, but. Hey, you know what? Everybody's been asking me, hounding me for building something modern. There you go. We'll just say that this is my modern house build. If I if I were to pass this off as a mock, you know, people would call me out for it, not because I stole this idea or anything. I'm just like, that. Jay, that doesn't seem like you. It's unfinished. Usually you build a whole lot in the driveway and all the dust bunnies that go with it, too. Okay. And we have a door frame and, a, well, it's not a door. I thought there was a door that goes there. No, it's some kind of white, like a blackboard. And I'm not sticking that on there, so they're going to live without that. There's a sticker that goes on that. And I could put it on there, but you know what? No, they can, those gentlemen can live without that too. <laughs> yeah, remember, I'm... They can see things, so can I. I'm seeing what these parts can be used for. So I'll show you the sticker that goes on there, and this goes here. All right. So um, let's take a look here. It's this right here. Ideas. Well, I don't use a, a blackboard for my ideas. I usually use a computer. Man. I have a whiteboard when I do a lot of the computer programming. Sometimes it's better than just trying to take notes on a computer. It's easy just to do that. I'm mean, going to have to do that kind of stuff. It's just better to do it on there. And just about done here. Okay. Now the walls are starting to strengthen up. Yeah, it's pretty goofy. This is, I mean, it's not the worst set I've ever built before. This one's just, it's, it's a good build experience, but it's just, I don't know, it's just not really my thing. It just, it's more just like a set, um, like, a, like a movie set. It's not going to be complete. Obviously, when I do the review, it's not city friendly, you know. But you can take the ideas out of like the kitchen. You could practically just take the fridge and this, all this stuff just comes out. You could drop it into any kind of house. There you go. I'm sure those guys won't mind if you did that. They're never going to know. Yeah, I cleaned my fountain for my yard, the pump, 
managed to salvage it, but the connector thing was bad, so I gotta find a piece of tubing. So I'm looking around for ink pens, lipstick things, whatever, just to fit, just to make a tube to fit it. So I'm gonna MacGyver it together. Uh, that's a show that I miss is MacGyver, not the new one that came out that was a flop. The old one. Now they, what was the other one they were bringing out too? Night Court. Grew up in the 80s. You probably watched Night Court. Now, I think these, we still haven't put those tiles on that mirror yet. So I can tell you right now, we're far from putting this stuff together. We got to put all the accessories in this too. All right. Okay. What is this for then? Like, what does that even do? <laughs> I think it fits in there. I don't know. Boy, it does fit in there, just the wrong way. This just comes out. So I think what it is, it's just a little closet thing. And you can just rotate the minifigure around. I'm not sure what this does yet. We'll have to find out, though. We'll find out a bit eventually. Okay, so I thought this was a hat rack. No, it's to hang these little uh, little satchels, these little purses on here. So that's not too bad, but it's loose, so they may fall off. And we got the stick and the plunger. So you put the plunger in here first. And then the stick. Not to be confused with the lipstick. This one goes right here. I think these are just like pipes. Like I know some places have the exposed plumbing and the duct work and stuff. And yeah, the place I stayed at was finished off. It didn't have any exposed beams. I've seen some studios where I can't remember. I think it might have been San Francisco, or even places like Chicago or New York where it's all exposed brick and like the warehouse you're living inside of a warehouse and that kind of thing okay so they made a little this is a little planter here it's kind of simple but it looks good Well, does that fit right up against there? Kind of. It's kind of like pushed away from the wall there. Or you know what? I, I think it goes on the corner. That makes more sense. So they put that there at the corner so you can knock right into it. And a gold stud goes here on the turntable. All right, let's see here what's next. We still got some parts left, so I don't know where everything's going to go yet. We're still not done. Okay, we got to do another. We got to do. We got to make two plants. Let's do those real quick here. So yeah, I'm glad now I broke this set down into two pieces because it would have been a lot of building here to get it done. Yes, I need these leaf pieces. Sorry guys, I'm going to rip those pieces out of here too. I'm going to use them for the campground, so... Yeah, I think about 90% of the pieces I can definitely use out of this set. It's not going to go to waste. We got something from... Coramo or something. I'll have to read what he has to say. At least the book is talking to us again. I thought maybe we did something wrong and, it, and it's ignoring us. No, it's it's talking to us again. All right, hold on. I'm making a mistake here. Plants uh, depends. Like I, I do a lot of freehand on plants. I don't ever do anything from building guides on plants, very rarely. And 
Yeah, too much modernness in this build. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too modern for me. Stick that there. And yes, like I said though, in a previous few installments, you want your stuff to look lived in. Okay? Clutter. Plants. Chairs, I got a sofa, just stuff like this on shelves. That's the secret. I'm not hiding anything from you. That's what I do. Okay, here's what Crammel has to say. As an adult, any creative process can help give you focus and take. And take you out of your own headspace. Building with Lego is perfect way to help you unwind and de-stress while also giving you a real sense of accomplishment with whatever you create. And that's true there. So just like our show, Lego can help in a little way and piece together people's lives. This is the perfect partnership. Yeah, totally. I use Lego to distress. And for those who... Okay, where are the last two pieces go here? Huh. Oh, you know what? They're supposed to go on the bottom of these plants. Well, we'll just pop the studs off. Let me do that real quick here. We're going to fix that up. Um, I didn't see it until after I looked at the picture here. So they put the light green ones at the bottom. Honestly, I don't think anybody's really going to know if I messed up on these. I, I mean, I don't think anybody's really going to figure it out. But, but yeah, Lego's a good de-stressing tool, uh, especially if you're an adult. And who cares if people say they're for kids? I, I don't care. It wasn't for a lot of us A-falls on YouTube like myself. A lot of these guys would still be in the closet building Lego. We got one here from Bobby. And I'm so happy with the finish that I think we really have managed to capture the essence of everything in our original loft. Well, the original loft, I think we're missing a few things. Of course, we got the pieces on the back and stuff. That concludes the build. Now we got to put all the... Oh, wait a minute. We have one more thing we got to look at in the manual here is putting all the accessories in. Okay. The TV set just kind of sits here. And then this thing goes over here. Okay. Make sure I have the drawers on the inside. And then that chair thing. I thought this was a barber's chair, but no, it's not what it is. But it does spin. At least it's nice and seamless down here. Okay. And I think that's it. And here's all the pieces that remain for bag five. Right there. Now... Let's take a look here. Get this all out of the way. Now, this set's rated for 18 up, but honestly, though, this is playable. And let's see if I can get it into shot here. If not, I may have to just back this camera up a little bit here for you guys and gals. There we go, right there. Amateur video hour. <laughs> right, let's give that thing a good, clean, sharp picture. Okay, so first things first. Stuff like this, living room set, kitchen definitely. These are accessories that I could use in a build as well as other things. Okay. And the only thing I'm not a fan of is everything being loose, but that's fine. Why is this sitting in here? I don't know unless it's meant for you to just to pop out and play with. 
Now, obviously it's scaled for figures. If I can get them to sit down here. And, yeah. So you can have them sit in chairs like that. Well, we got the twins in here. There you go. Well, this chair's kind of goofy. They don't sit in that very well, huh? I'm just throwing figures in here, and we'll just have this one sitting here. We'll have him look like he's walking here. Sit, sit him down. Well, if you'd like to stand, sit down there. Right. And let's see here. Never had my hair down to my butt before, so that's a new one. How does he sit down? I don't know. Can he sit down in a chair? We'll just have him in the kitchen here. Well, there's not a lot of room behind there. He's going to burn his hand on the stove. We'll just set him. Well, I guess, he, I guess he just doesn't fit in there. We'll just put him there. And, oh, I hate when I get an itch. <laughs> Yeah, let's see here. You know, coming to think of it, since I had hair like that at one time, it does look kind of silly. But of course, if you're younger, who cares? Let's put the scissors in. Wait a minute, who is the barber in this one anyways? I don't even know who. Uh, we'll put him... Let's see if we can have him sit on the sofa here. Uh, maybe I need to raise up the arm. Okay, that's pretty good. And I don't know. Who's the barber in this one? I'm just going to give him the scissors. Or, or you know what? To kind of keep it where we don't have to remember, we'll leave the scissors right there on the chair. And we'll have him right over here. You know, let's put him in the kitchen. There we go. He actually fits in there. And Mr. Silver Pump Boy. Goes there. And then we can't forget about the pug or... Well, I was going to say Mastiff, but that's too big for... A, or too tiny for a master. And then we got a laptop here. We'll set the laptop in the kitchen by the sink so one of the guys can knock it in there and blame one of the roommates. <laughs> and we got a hairbrush. Where does that go? I don't know. We'll throw that in the barber chair. And that's pretty much it for the play set. Now, obviously you can tell this is playable. You know, you got access to... You got access to pretty much to a, if you put the TV right here, it's pretty much a full living room. Full kitchen. And some styling area, and that's it. And since this is supposed to be, I guess, a movie studio, what I'm taking this is just to put the minifigures, they go through here. They can walk in. Or maybe this is the entry point into the house or to the loft. You know, they usually have some kind of blackout thing, and that's what they're using that for. And the props. Now, I'm not into this show. I've never seen it before. I'm not really into reality stuff. So, just from my knowledge of it, let's just dive right on in to the review. Um... First off, build experience. You know, my build experience was pretty good with this set. I uh, kept my interest and I wanted to put this together. So it wasn't something that was dry or boring. You know, if I bought it for parts, it was still fun to put together. So I would say that, yeah, this is really fun just as a build. And for durability, uh, which is the build quality, uh, I mean, it feels okay. Some of the stuff is pretty loose. So for me personally, 
I'd say the build quality is average. You know, this stuff's loose. You got these hanging here. If you were to pick this up, some of the stuff can slide off and get lost. There's no way to anchor this stuff down. TV you can probably just tack on here. Stuff like that. But for me personally, it's just... Uh, the build quality was just average. Build experience, really good. Build quality is average. Playability. Is this a playable model? Yes, you can play with this. It's fully playable. As to why 18 years of age and up, I think maybe it's due to the show. But for me personally, even if this was given to a kid to play with, you know, they come in or change the colors. As a matter of fact, you get some pink profile bricks in there, you can make this into a, a Lego Friends theme. It'd look pretty cool. So... This also comes off at the top, so I don't know what that's about there. Um, could this be dropped in a city? Absolutely not. Could you integrate this into a mock? Maybe the furniture you could. And a lot of the ideas. So like the kitchen can be removed. This can be renew removed. Living room. This cupboard. Rack. So lots of accessory, lots of furnishings in the set. So yeah, a lot of this stuff could be used, but as far as for this loft part, yeah. But I noticed one thing that's just unfinished, and that's the floor. I don't know if it's meant to be carpeted or what, but for me, it should have been tiled off with a few jumper plates here and there. It, it, I don't know, it just kind of looks just unfinished on the floor. This looks finished. Not so much here. So for me personally, it just it just feels rather incomplete. So you'd have to actually come in here and finish it up. All in all, if I had to rate this, now I don't have to submit this in as a review because it's something I bought. But for me personally, I with the amount of stickers, it was entertaining to put together nonetheless. Uh, lots of really good pieces. But I'd say an eight. 8 out of 10. Um, you know, playability is usually a huge factor in things. And build quality. And build experience. But if you only you can really drop this in, like, to a city. Oh, yeah, I'm getting really tired now. But the only way to drop this in a city is you're going to have to finish it all up. But for me personally, I just bought it for parts. So now what I got to do is do the final review, just talk about my experiences putting this together, and then that will be it. After that, I'm sorry, in the parts bin it will go, and this, and Mr. Tan's head, or hair piece, this would be good on Jay the Surfer. Too bad it wasn't a fade, but... Well, what what would what would this look like on him? Oh, that looks even better on him. The fuchsia hair on tan. Yeah. And you know the sad thing now is my hair is starting to turn color. It's not gray. When my barber says no, you don't have gray hair. Your hair's starting to turn white. So pretty soon, you know how all the guys now are dyeing their hair white to get the frosted look. Mine will be natural here probably in 10 years. But hey, you know what? I can use this. Profile bricks. Lots of profile bricks. Accessories. These rug pieces. Yeah, I'd say about 90% of this set I could use. So yeah, if you find this set on sale, if it's still if it's still available, I mean really just pick up a copy or two. Profile bricks and these stove pieces and stuff. A lot of the stuff I can use. This is not. This is a set here, and I'm glad my friend Dragon had mentioned it because I could use a lot of these parts for mocks. All right. Well, that concludes the build and the build installments and the tour of the Queer Eye Fab, the Fab Five Loft by Lego. This is set number one zero two nine one. Contains one hundred seventy four pieces, and overall, I am pleased with this set wasn't a waste of time and yes I really did enjoy putting this together